Hi, welcome to Doodle with Dan. I'm Dan, and um, I want to say first of all thanks for uh, what you did and how the last time we got together and drew, you sent all kinds of pictures and stuff on Instagram and Facebook, and I just want to say thanks. That's a great way for us to kind of share our pictures and still be together in crazy times like these crazy topsy turvy times we're in right now. So. After we get done today, why don't you ask your folks, or if you can do this, post it on Facebook, on the Flatirons page, or on Instagram, and let's share our pictures. So, today, we're going to do a dinosaur. I think a dinosaur would be a fun, a fun picture to draw together. And, and because we're doing a dinosaur, I asked my favorite dinosaur expert to join us. So I've asked Micah. Micah, can you come here? This is Micah, and Micah Daniel, by the way. He's my grandson. Where'd you get that middle name? Whose middle name is that? Who's, who else is named Daniel? That's right. So this is Micah, he's my grandson, and he knows more about dinosaurs than anybody that I know. So we're gonna get started here. Um, and just like last time, we went, all you need is some paper and some markers. And here's my marker, and here's a marker for Micah. And we're gonna use markers, and we, and we have markers, and if you wanna have colored pencils or, or uh, crayons, or whatever that looks like for you, you go ahead and get those, and then we're gonna do this. And this time, just like last time, we drew some simple shapes. And this time, the simple shapes, and I'll draw these, Micah, and then I'll show them. We're gonna draw triangles, that, triangles, we're going to draw some circles again, Pull some circles, yeah. and we're going to draw some peanut shapes, now peanut, just like a peanut shell, remember what a peanut shell looks like, kind of looks like two circles that are kind of connected? Peanut shapes. We're going to use peanut shapes to draw this too. We're also going to use like two sided triangles, which I think we're going to, whether they're called this or not, we're going to call them biangles, just like that. Two sided triangles. So those are the shapes we're going to draw today. And then before we get started, I want to talk about dinosaurs a little bit. Now, everyone knows what a dinosaur is, right? Right? You know what a dinosaur is, right? What's your favorite dinosaur? T-Rex. T-Rex. You're gonna be so happy today. So T-Rex, everybody knows what a dinosaur is. And did you know where we get the name dinosaur? Do you know what the word dinosaur means? What's it mean? Well, it comes from a Greek word, two Greek words they put together. The Greek word dia dianos, which means terrible or scary. Dianos and Saurus, which means lizard. So it means terrible, scary lizard. Isn't that pretty cool? Dianos, Dianos Saurus, dinosaurs, terrible, scary lizard. And so we're going to talk about those words terrible and scary when we get done, but before, we're going to draw the terrible, scary lizard that has big teeth and has a big tail and has teeny tiny little arms. What dinosaur is that? T-Rex. Which stands for what? Is that Tyrannosaurus Rex, huh? We're gonna do a T-Rex. So, using our shapes, and go ahead, you got your marker ready? ready? Let's start by drawing kind of a sideways peanut shape at the top of our paper, like this. See that? Kind of like that. And everybody's peanut, dinosaur peanut, looks different. So that's what mine looks like. And now, below that, let's put a peanut shape that's kind of tilted. So here's our peanut shape that's kind of tilted like this. 
Good job, buddy. So now we've got a tilted peanut shape there. And now let's keep going with our peanut shapes and let's put two smaller peanut shapes on the bottom for one leg. Just like that. One leg. And let's put another one over here for the other leg. Like that. Good job, buddy. And now that we've got that, let's draw two circles. Just like we did with the lion. Let's put two circles up here for eyes. Good job. Two circles for eyes. And now let's put two little dots in those circles for the pupils, or the middle of the eye. And I always put mine close together because it looks funnier that way. There we go. And now let's begin. Let's put one of our biangles right here, starting in the front of the face, and here, and then back. So it almost looks like a piece of pie, like a wedge of pie. Good job. And now inside of there, let's take and let's put some bi two, a biangle in there, like this, and one more line, like that. Good job. Come down. There you go. That makes its teeth. Now he has to breathe, right? So let's put his nostril. Let's put a little dark circle, black circle there for his nostril. And the thing I want to do now is those biangles, just the tops and the sides of a triangle, let's put them over our dinosaur's eyes. Like that. Good job. Now, let's put our dinosaur's teeny tiny arms, little peanut arms, because remember, Tyrannosaurus rex had teeny tiny arms, little teeny tiny peanut arms there. There you go. Good job. There's one there and then one over here, because he had two arms. Two teeny tiny And now, let's take, let's give him some claws. Little teeny tiny triangles for claws. I'm gonna put three claws on mine, like that. Good job, buddy. And then I'm gonna do three more here. So there's our T-Rex's claws on his teeny tiny arms. Good job. Now let's do his claws on his feet. I'm gonna do three down there too. One, two, three. Good job. I'm gonna do three more over here. One, two, three. Why don't you show the camera what you're doing? Show them your dinosaur. You know how Mike is doing? Is that what yours looks like? Okay, what, what's this T-Rex missing right now? He's missing a tail, so let's put a big triangle tail on our dinosaur. How about that? Good job. And now, because Lots of scientists and archaeologists think that they probably had markings. T-Rexes had markings. I'm going to put some biangles, just a bunch of them across his back. See, I'm going to start mine like this. And I'm going to go right down his back and make them different sizes. There we go. Good job, show them yours. All right. 
Now, now that we're, you, how does yours look? Now we're gonna color them. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let Mike a color while I talk. I'm, I'm giving you, what colors do you want? You, you get to pick the colors you want. There's your colors, you get done. So, we talked about, we talked about, um, as you're drawing this, I'm gonna ask you this, Micah. Like, because they're dinosaurs and God made everything, right? So God made dinosaurs, right? So when you think about dinosaurs, like what's, what's the dinosaur, like when scientists have dug up all these bones and stuff, what's the dinosaur that kind of flew in the air, had bat wings, kind of? What was that, what was that dinosaur? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. And how about the other dinosaur with the big long neck and the big long tail and kind of a big round body? Which dinosaur was that? Brachiosaurus, right. And how about the one, it was kind of a chubby dinosaur, kind of a short neck and short tail, but it had all those like triangle plates on his back. Which one was that? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus, come on, give me five. Give me five on that. There we go. So, every single one of those dinosaurs was so different and so terrible scary in its own way, right? And because God made them, we know because in the Bible it says God made everything, so he had to make dinosaurs, right? Yeah. So God made every single one of those dinosaurs terrible, scary lizards. He made them all. And, and when I think about those words, terrible and scary, what I think about sometimes is this one section of the Bible in Psalm. It's Psalm 139.14. And in that psalm, there's this man, this king, and his name was David. And David was writing this song. He wrote this song to God. This is a beautiful song to God. And in that, in Psalm 139, 14, it says, it reads, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And you see, in that song that David was writing about, he was writing about just how amazing our bodies are. They're amazing. They're, they're how fearfully and wonderfully made God made us. And, and what that word fearfully means, basically crazy amazing. Crazy amazing and wonderfully made. And isn't that true? You think it's true? Think about your body. Let's think about everything. Like, think about your arms. Look at your arms. Look at your hands. That's pretty crazy amazing. And, when you think about your legs and how you can run. And one of the things, what happened to you at Christmas time with your arm? You broke it. You broke this arm right here. And look, it's crazy amazing that you're healed already, huh? It's all good. It's all better now. Crazy amazing. And when I think about crazy amazing, I think about your eyes. Think about your eyes. How crazy amazing your eyes are. The fact that our eyes kind of take these images in and they send those to our brain and that's how we see. I mean, it's crazy amazing stuff. And it's just that the same way that God made dinosaurs fearfully and wonderfully made, crazy, amazing, wonderfully made, that's how he made your body too, huh? You and dinosaurs, you and dinosaurs, crazy and amazing. God made them both. And you know what that means? Because he made you, God has you in his hands, right? God has you in his hands. And it's the same hands, the same crazy, amazing hands that made everything. And that means that God has you, and God has your family and your friends, and that God has the whole world in his hands. And that's crazy amazing too, isn't it? So, like this, this week, this coming week, why don't we think about that? Why don't we think about how God made us fearfully and wonderfully made, that he made us crazy amazingly. And when you take some time this week, if, if you can't write this, ask your parents to write this, and, and you can memorize this and think about this week. I am fearfully 
and wonderfully made. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and always in God's hands. Micah, thanks for joining me. You say goodbye? Goodbye. We'll see you next time.